Here's here. the deal. What is what is the problem with presenting an emotional argument? The problem is that it, it relates to people's fundamental gut responses to what's right and wrong. And that makes me mad. That's the first thing. It's guilt and shame. Guilt and shame are the two things that a person feels, I believe, when they've witnessed something that is wrong, but yet they still try to justify it. Since 1986, over three million American horses have been slaughtered for human consumption in Europe and Asia. Today, there are just two horse slaughter plants in the United States. Both are located near Dallas, Texas. Horses hold a special place in America's culture and heritage. The image of a Texas cowboy riding proud on his horse remains a symbol of American freedom and pioneer spirit. I'm in Texas. I'm in Fort Worth, Texas. Half of my staff owns a horse, and they're not going to eat their horse either. So um, I think it's just a matter of in Texas, you don't eat your horse, you don't eat your dog, you don't eat your cat. Um. I'm so embarrassed that we slaughter horses in Kaufman, Texas. I'm so embarrassed. People lie. And for so many years, they've been lying about this horse slaughter plant. They've been saying, oh, all the horses over there are old and sick and crippled. Well, that's not right. They're just saying that so that nobody will question what they do. There is a, apparently a, a, a faction in this community that's willing to intimidate. There's a lot of money, not money that stays in this community, but money to be made. We should not be providing meat to the French and the Belgians and the Japanese. Uh, they can, if they want to eat the meat, they should be eating their own horses and certainly not ours. These horse slaughter plants have approached a representative, state representative, Betty Brown from Kaufman County, and asked her to introduce a bill in the state legislature that would legalize their activities and she has done so. It's uh, House Bill 1324. Uh, I would like to make a few states or a statement before I lay out my bill because of the extraordinary nature of the opposition that has come to our attention. I've been surprised and saddened by the tactics used by those who opposed this bill. Intimidation and even threats started. This is a real mess on our hands. Now, how important is this bill for the state of Texas? The other thing is that all this talking about, you know, they don't have the last hundred dollars to pop to have the horse put down right. Hey, you know, hang on. You want to know how much a yacht costs? If you have to ask, you can't afford one. I'm talking about a report from the Texas No, you said it costs one thousand dollars a year to feed a horse. We own a ranch, I and we do it. We do over a hundred horses a year, and we cost thirty-eight eighty per well, horse. You and you're not getting the right information. If you have a problem with the statistics, I got a problem with. I got a problem with, I got a problem with you. Service. They provide for this enterprise. It's an enterprise that is buying horses for slaughter. That's what they're doing. <laughs> Many, many young horses are sold at auction, and the people who are putting them up for sale have absolutely no idea that these horses are going to slaughter. It's a dumping ground. That's what it is. And, and it's not because it's unwanted horses. It, I mean, I don't see that these horses are unwanted if you have to compete with killer buyers. Texas needs to join the other 49 states and not have horse slaughter for human consumption in their state.
I have a very emotional response to this, and uh, I can hear the horses nickering and whinnying off in the distance, and, and I just feel a sense of horror in my stomach and in my heart at what's, what's either happening or about to happen over there. And a slaughter plant has to process a live horse because the horse has to actually be alive when his throat is slit. And the process is they stun a horse and then slit its throat. There's a, a lot of cruelty involved where a horse is throwing his head around, very difficult, has a much longer neck, is much more frightened than a cow. So oftentimes the person operating the stun gun has to try five, six times to get it. They're hitting them in the neck, in the, in the jaw, everywhere, and oftentimes, even after they hit them in the head, it's not done at the right angle and they regain consciousness when their throat's being slit. A lot of people that love horses in Texas and use them and that probably having their last moments on this earth in a slaughterhouse is not good for Texas. Let's get some music! Woo! books, on television, and in the movies. Americans have celebrated their horses for centuries. Every day I pray to God to give me horses, wonderful horses. There's no question in my mind that if this issue were voted on by the people of Texas, it would overwhelmingly be voted that we don't want this. <laughs> Not so bad, I like.